this example, we have to draw another uh, vector, this time 2.9 Newton, and the direction is this time given as compass direction. So what you do notice is that that compass direction is 57 degrees south. So we'll start by writing this as north. is 2.9 newtons once again if we were writing this question down on paper somewhere I would write down that 1 newtons is equivalent to 1 centimeter that means 2.9 newtons will be 2.9 centimeters so I'm going to measure 2.9 centimeters using my ruler it's my angle there we go we measured 2.9 on there and as I did before I'm simply going to take what I've already drawn and just make it smaller okay um, 2.9 since I have the direction is there that's 2.9 and I simply complete by drawing my arrowhead There we go, not that bad.
Hi again, and welcome back to part two of our series on how to make a vector illustration using Adobe Ideas and Illustrator. In this video, we'll go over some tips on how to make a refined illustration using Ideas, and we'll also prep our illustration to be imported into Illustrator. So here we have our sketch from part one. Let's start by creating some line work. I'm going to add a new layer. Using my pencil tool, reduce the size to about 2.5 and make sure my opacity is full and I'm going to use black. So I'm going to zoom in and to create line work, you just start tracing over the sketch that you have below it. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you mess up, you can just grab your eraser tool and clean up where you had a little messed up. Now I try to stay consistent with my line work, so if I want to make an area thicker, I don't change the size of the pencil tool. I just really carefully trace over where I want that line to be a little bit thicker. And you can see it gives a nice effect right there. You've probably noticed that ideas can't make tapered lines. To make tapered lines yourself, just grab your eraser tool and manually go in and give it a nice point. Once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy to make nice tapered lines and ideas. So I'm going to continue adding line work by just tracing over my sketch layer. After I'm done with my line work, we'll start going in and adding some colors. All right, so I finished up my line work and now it's time to go in and add some color. So you can see that I've deleted the sketch layer since I no longer need it. I'm going to add a new layer and drag it below my line work. I'll select my pencil tool, choose my first color, increase the size a little bit, and I'll zoom in and just start filling in my line work. Now I don't need to be too careful since I can always go back and clean up with the eraser tool, but I'll just keep filling it in until I'm ready. And now I'm going to go ahead and add my secondary color. To do this, I'll just create a new layer, drag it below my line work just like the first time, choose a new color, and start adding in some details. Again, if I need to go in with the eraser tool later to clean up, I can do that. It's important to try to keep all of your colors on separate layers. This will help you out a lot when you go into Illustrator. You can add up to 10 layers, so depending on how complex your illustration is, you may have to double up on colors in a few layers. I'll show you how to deal with this in Illustrator in the next video. Again, Android users currently are restricted to one draw layer, so all of the colors in line work will be on one layer. We'll learn how to resolve this in part three. So here we have our illustration with all of the colors added on their own separate layers. Now we're going to go in and add some shadows and highlights. First, create a new layer and drag it underneath your line work, but above all your other colors. We'll go in and grab a dark color. I'll use my HSB sliders to do so. And I'm going to increase the size, keep the opacity at 100%, but I'm going to drop the layer opacity down to about 30%. Now I'm going to zoom in and start blocking in my shadows. Because this layer is above all the other color layers, it adds a shadow irrespective of the color. I can use the same technique to add highlights. Just add a new layer, choose a white color, drop the layer opacity down, and we can go in and add some nice highlights. Now I need to bump up my opacity a little bit. So I'm going to continue my illustration and I'll be right back. All right, so here's my finished illustration. You can see that I finished up my shadows and highlights. I've also gone in and added a bit of a background layer. I'm pretty happy with my illustration, so I can go back to the main projects page. Click on this little Creative Cloud icon and turn sync to on. This will upload all of my files to Creative Cloud. In the next video, we'll get our ideas file from Creative Cloud and start cleaning it up in Illustrator. I'll see you then.